Green. The following contest is a table, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger. Back in NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. One day she'll be joining her father in the Hall of Fame. Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. And introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan, Asuka. Asuka, absolutely incredible with what she has accomplished in such a short time here. Well on her way to becoming one of the best ever. Lived up to the hype, surpassed the expectations. An undefeated run in NXT. NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. The Irish last kicker. And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT. She had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company. And now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. back to their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. And ugh, I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, it's cute. So much can go wrong in a match like this, guys, which is why it's considered one of the most dangerous in all of WWE. Oh, well, call on your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey. Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two horsewomen. True, Michael, but not all moments were heartwarming. Remember when Charlotte brutally betrayed Becky in 2016? Charlotte's competitive nature always seems to supersede their friendship. I don't think she expected that. 
face first off the knee. Oh, this is not good at all. I don't have you walking funny. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE Champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. She is on fire! Eventually, John Cena and Seth Rollins changed the landscape of the match by doing the one thing they never considered, and that was working together. The Beast survived three consecutive AAs from John Cena and a curb stomp from Seth Rollins. Cena and Rollins then went toe-to-toe -to -toe as one tried to take the other out of the match. All three superstars suffered an incredible beating, which included Brock Lesnar being treated by two doctors at ringside. After surviving a barrage of offense from Seth Rollins, the Beast returned to his feet and destroyed the architect with a devastating F5 to retain his championship. All right, listen up, morons, especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for E and C. Well, I wasn't sure if she was going to come back down or not. What a move! Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. And you're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach to the match. As some would say in a triple threat, you don't have to beat the champ to become the champ. That's a risk that a champion runs when being put in this type of match. We've heard from many superstars who say that fact that does affect their training and overall preparation for a triple threat match. It would have to. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. When the WWE Universe hears the term, the streak, most think of The Undertaker's 21-match WrestleMania streak. But Charlotte Flair had quite a streak of her own. Charlotte started her WWE career 16-0 in singles pay-per-view matches. From July 2015 to February 2017, it was over a year and a half of dominance by the Queen. Byron, you recounted Charlotte's streak, which included wins against Sasha Banks, Bailey, Natalia, Becky Lynch, the Bellas, and Paige. All top performers themselves, but none could top Flair. Triple threat matches, a submission match, even a main event Hell in a Cell match. When it comes to big fights, Charlotte has proven why she's the queen. A bad place to be for the challenger. She's going to need to find a way to turn things around if she wants to win this triple threat match. This is not where she wants to be right now. She's dangerously close to losing this thing. But then again, so is her opponent. What a match. Some superstars who have competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. Look at her go! Bringing it back between the ropes. Earlier, Byron. Charlotte with the spear! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. This is Charlotte's best chance. The queen has to capitalize. Peggy Lynch going for it. There's no coming back from that. This one's over, guys. Nobody gets up from that, Cole. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Not sure she has enough time, but she still battled all oh, high. Becky Lynch. Oscar needs a miracle. Oh man, she's rolling now. Ooh. 
Now well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Look out. There she goes. She's calling her out. Charlotte's done playing. Natural selection. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Yes! Unreal performance. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here's your winner and the new SmackDown Women's Champion. That's coming up big here for two of WWE's best. Three competitors walked in with legitimate chances of winning, but in the end, only one showed the resolve and the willingness to do anything necessary to pick up the win. Thank you for spending.